One of my favorite editing tools within Final Cut Pro 10 is the ability to slip clips. So check out this quick sequence of clips within my project. Notice this shot in the middle. The kid never finishes his jump. To fix this without altering the length of my project, you can use the trim tool to perform a slip function. Okay, now you may want to click on the timeline appearance button in the bottom right corner of the timeline window. Choose the large video only display option. Notice how you can also adjust the clip height of the clip thumbnails within your project. To use the slip tool, click on the tools pop down window within the toolbar and choose trim. Also, notice the keyboard shortcut is T for trim. Okay, now click within the clip area and drag to the right or to the left depending on the area of the clip you'd like to preserve. You should be able to get a rough idea of where your clip will start and end based on the film strip of thumbnails. Okay, before I review this again, navigate to the Final Cut Pro menu and choose Preferences. Within the Preferences dialog box, choose the Editing Preferences. Turn on the option to show detailed trimming feedback. Now go back to your clip within your project and drag through its contents to the right or to the left. Notice how you can see exactly where the clip starts and where the clip ends. Alright, let's check out the end result. Okay, that's the basics of slipping a clip using the trim tools within Final Cut Pro.